Hi everyone, I'm Mary of Mary Dastek. In this video, we will discuss how to flash the firmware of our device TTGO T-Beam. Our team, do we know it, will create a separate video on how we set up the hardware, software, and how we deployed it to off-grid areas. Now, the first thing that we need to do here is to go to meshtastic.org and go to Docs, Hardware, Go to supported hardware and our team is using LilyGo T-Beam version 1.1. Before we flash our device, it is expected that we already soldered our OLED to the development board. Now you can see here that there are different pins and guides on how to do that. The 3V3 should be connected to the VCC of your OLED, ground to ground, and SEL of the OLED to be connected to the pin 22 and SDA to be connected to 21 pin. The catch here is that before we flash the firmware of the device, we need to temporarily connect the zero pin and the ground pin. There's also instruction here on how you will connect the OLED screen to your development board. Now the next step is for us to go to getting started, flashing firmware, click flash firmware, and there's a caution message here that it is important to connect the antenna to your development board before you turn on your device because it will damage the device. Since we're using the T-Beam, we will use the recommended Mesh-tastic flasher application. Let's go here and the prerequisite is for us to verify the version of our Python. It should be not less than version 3.9. The next step is to open the command prompt as administrator and then you need to change the directory to the, your C drive but I'll be going straight to users and then Mary and the Guzman then after that you need to create a directory for the Python virtual environment but I already have this so I'll check the directory inside Mary and the Guzman and I have pyenv so I'll just change the directory to pyenv now I'm on this directory already. The next step is to check that Python version is sufficient. Must be at least version 3.9, okay? One way for me to check the version of Python is just type Python. Then we can see Python 3.10.8, the one that we installed earlier. Then control Z to go back to PYENV directory. The next step is let's try this, python-m venv venv for us to check the python is sufficient then you will not see any result it will just go back to pyenv now the next step is for us to run the venv scripts activate we need to activate the python virtual environment okay so for us to do that i just type dot backslash and then venv backslash scripts backslash active fate okay now you can see that uh, your prompt should change to venv okay so we have the open and close parenthesis venv we need to type the pip install mesh tastic flasher pip install mesh tastic dash flasher okay then that's good our requirement already satisfied now let's run the mesh tastic flusher mesh tastic then flusher okay it will show this mesh tastic flusher board now the first step as you can see here flashing the device we need to click the versions okay to make sure that uh, we will get the recent firmware version now since i already did it um, earlier so i you can see a version here now the next step is to detect the device supported and port information let's click this okay just wait for a little while you can see here this is to determine the port and device variant connected after the detect device the next step is to click the number three button to flash the device selected using the port selected to the device now it will prompt you 
And as a question, does the device currently have Mistastic version 1.2 or newer? So I'll just click yes for our device. There is a message here where it says that verify it is in boot mode. Okay, this is an important thing that you need to verify your device is in boot mode. How do you do that? There should be a single solid red light under your OLED screen. Okay, there should not be any other lights, solid nor flashing. If not, you need to disconnect the device and provide a jumper between ground and boot zero pins while device is plugged in. That's why I informed you earlier that you need to connect the ground pin and the zero pin on your development port. Okay, that's just temporary. You need to desolder that or to disconnect this after we do this. Okay, if you didn't connect yet the ground pin and the boot zero pin, which can be seen on the hardware like I showed earlier this one okay. you need to connect this ground pin and zero pin after you do that just click OK make sure that the device is T-beam because we're using T-beam there are other um, type of devices but we're using T-beam and then click flash are you sure you want to flash 1.3.7 COM9 T-beam Yes, of course. Okay. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, then click OK. Then that's it.